Oh my fucking god. I'm done. I'm not even gonna complain about these videos anymore. They've just become part of the fucking channel, okay? The drug videos on this channel is like a fucking leech, okay? In the beginning, it gets on you and you're like, huh. Uh, it's definitely not supposed to be here, but whatever. Second day, the leech is starting to suck your fucking blood, and you're like, oh, feels kind of tingly. Huh. Definitely not supposed to be there. <laughs> uh. Third day, the leech is having an all-you-can-eat buffet on your fucking blood. He's just... <laughs> all of it, and you're just sitting there, you're like, uh, I think I need to go to the hospital right now. And by the time you get to the hospital on the fourth day... It's already fucking a part of you, okay? It's literally attached inside your heart. And the doctor's like, Well, Mr. Calvin, uh, I don't know how to say this, but if we remove this leech, we're basically gonna have to remove your heart, your legs, your brain, and both your eyeballs. So, uh, do you want to go through with this? And you're like, uh, no. Yeah, guys, without further ado, you guys already know what I'm about to say. Don't do fucking drugs, okay? Dude, this is not me saying... You guys should do drugs. It's really nice. Okay, I'm not a druggie, but um, this is Adderall. Yo, and one more thing, okay? This is like fucking one of the last drugs that I got, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this drug series because I only got one more after this that I can make a video on. So just saying. But regardless, this is Adderall, and I hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like if you guys want another drug story. Okay, getting into this story, it was a few months ago. But little Calvin was sitting upstairs, and he was making a YouTube video. I know YouTube is a really strange thing. Not a lot of people understand what it is. But Calvin was making a YouTube video when he heard a knock on his door. But Calvin rushed downstairs because he thought it was fucking Santa Claus, okay? He ran downstairs, opened the door, and it wasn't Santa Claus, but it was an old friend. It was Michael Jordan. And yes, it was the same Michael Jordan from the Pablo Diablo or the Molly story. This is the same person. This is like years ago. So he's an old childhood friend of mine. We used to be friends in elementary school and middle school. And he just fucking found out where I lived. I have no idea. Well, actually, I do. His uh, brother knew my brother, and then they were talking online, and then he gave him a fucking ad. Okay, I'm not going to get into the details, okay? But he rang the doorbell, and he's like, yo, fucking Calvin, I'm Michael Jordan, what up? I made the NBA. I'm kidding. He didn't, he didn't fucking make the NBA. He, there's no way, okay? He would get his ass dropped in the NBA. But uh, he, he knocked on my door. I answered, and I was like, yo, what's going on, dude? And he's like, yo, fucking Calvin, what's up? So we sat there, and we talked for a bit, and we decided to get some food. While little Calvin was sitting there talking to Michael fucking Jordan, Michael fucking Jordan started bringing up all these parties that he went to recently, okay? Because he moved away, and he recently he was getting hardcore into parties. And I've been to parties myself, but they weren't the same parties as this guy. This guy was talking about fucking cocaine and shit, and all these crazy parties. But naturally, after talking about parties and shit like that, he started talking about drugs and stuff, which is fine. I mean, I've talked to plenty of people that do drugs, and I'm not one of those people that are like... <laughs> don't you be talking about that drug talk around me. I don't want no secondhand drug talk, okay? <laughs> Stay away. But at the time, Michael Jordan was going to school and he was also going to work. And he was talking about how he just got an Adderall prescription. Um, not because he had ADD, but because motherfucker, he loved the drug, okay? This dude loved the drug and he had a prescription. And we got back to the place and he's like, Yo, dude, do you... Do you want to fucking try some? Yeah, I'm gonna not gonna lie, okay? I was just like, yeah, l let's see this shit, okay? So I take this Adderall. But I take it, we talk for a bit, and he leaves, and I didn't really think much of it. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna take this, and nothing much. And I walk upstairs, and holy shit, dude, it was like a chainsaw turned on. It was like... <laughs> I was just fucking working, okay? Focus mode online. There was no distractions. I opened up YouTube. I fucking watched one YouTube video. No more. Gotta make a video. Just slammed like four videos done in like the course of two hours. And they were all pretty good videos, to be honest. I also played a CSGO game and I just fucking completely wrecked them. Just completely destroyed them. I was like the fucking Terminator. Just, just headshots 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 okay and after taking adderall i would bet money that there are so many people in the csgo professional scene that take so much fucking adderall and drink so much red bull and just become half terminator half fucking predator just sitting there execute mode online nothing but the deagle just taking kids out
I mean, I don't know if it would help them out as much as it helped me out, because for me, my mind is constantly thinking about random shit. And I think if you're in a CSGO tournament and you're sitting there thinking about pizza, I don't think you're going to do that well. Much like Shroud tweet at me. Yeah, I think about pizza when I play, so uh, your opinion is uh, invalid. But yeah, I just worked, 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 and then crashed like a plane and was just out for the night. Just done. Asleep. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Leave a like if you guys want more drug stories. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching all the support recently. These drug videos are blowing up, man. They're competing with YouTubers that like have like 3 million subs. Like, what the fuck? Um, but thank you guys so much for all the support. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace, peace.